tags on it or the letters on it. It's A four four three six two 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 seven eight. It's Island Carts FMB. You see the nice uh, golf carts out on Fort Myers Beach. The nice new paint. They got long lasting batteries. They're not. Uh, they're not going to leave you stranded somewhere on a sterile boulevard. Uh, you're going to be able to get from A to B because they've got these uh, lifelong batteries. And they're starting to really, um, uh, I don't know what you say, antique up the uh, uh, the golf cart. So they look more than just like a golf cart. They look like cars. like the, like, antique them. like what the old fogies do in that place up in uh, well, Fort Myers. Really what's uh, what's the name of that place? All those, oh, the uh, villages. The villages where it's all golf carts. Uh, yeah, there's so. some. Yes, I was down earlier this week and saw people down on the beach, saw people tootling out on island carts. Yeah, they, and, they, yeah. Uh, they, the batteries will last from now until the end of time. And uh, maybe not, not that sure long, but a, a damn long time. And uh, what you need to do. they're electric, right? They're battery operated. Battery. Does that mean yeah. they're electric? Yeah, sort of. 844 FMB <laughs> cart is the number to call. Dave Christ is with us now. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I let me apologize to you first, Dave. Uh, Mike Greenwell is a tough act to follow. He's a Boston Red Sox, uh, although it might be a, a good act to follow. We get a big audience with a yeah. professional baseball player, and here you are. And Dave, um, you're a Fort Myers Beach resident? Yes, I've uh, been a resident. Uh, nice since. and close. There you go. Okay, thank you. Uh, we've been full-time residents since 2008. We started vacationing here. 40 over 40 years ago rarely missed a year so this is like coming home when we've come for vacation i bought a condo here in 97 then after uh we decided to move down full-time in 2008 and there's oh, no going back to wisconsin in the winter <laughs> yeah no, no. So we're here, we're you here. probably got a good deal though on yeah. a house back then well yeah. you had yeah, your condo did you keep the same one you I bought in the, the 90s? I kept the same one for a little while, and uh -huh. then we bought a bigger one because when you're here full time, you yeah, need a you need more a, room. Right. But we're both both were on Island Pines Way on the south end, and so it's uh, it's worked out quite well. Now, when you say both, did you say? Uh, I had one on Island Pines Way in '97, and then we bought a larger one further down. You and your wife. Right. Uh, right. In 2000, you know. Did he say his wife? I, I didn't yes, hear. Yeah, wife, yeah, Pat, he did. Was sitting yeah. over here. You bet. Did your wife? Was your Good wife? one right here. Was oh. your yeah. wife the one? See, she's even yelling at you to get the yeah, microphone well, closer. Yeah. You know, it was your, like at home. Is your wife the one that says she watches the show or was it? Oh, my gosh. She does? She's got it right at the kitchen table on Saturday morning. She's, listen to this. Listen to does this. Does your wife have some kind of mental problem or something that she <laughs> watches this show? Or We've been need? trying to cover it up. But I you know, see. It I see. Well, we appreciate her watching and all that. And now, Dave, the reason we have you on the show is because unfortunately you've uh you've got a health issue right uh, and my now if i could tell the 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 story is that my friend of i don't know how many years jim farley is a friend of yours neighbor, now a neighbor friend. of yours and jim and i go back 100 years i mean if you look at him he's, he looks like he's 100 years well, old yeah, that's and he's being kind yeah and he used to run the uh, wtop in washington dc the number one news station in the country and for some reason he picked fort myers beach and right next to you. That's and right. so he sent me an email uh, that said that you had uh, something going on. And I said, a great time to have you on the show. So excellent. What uh, what is going on with you? You need something that somebody might have an extra. Well, I actually need a kidney. Yeah. I'm bad for uh, last summer. I uh, went was in stage four kidney uh, failure. And in the fall, I went into end stage. And fortunately, uh, out here. At Lee Health, they got me in. I was there ten days. I did dialysis, and I'm here. <laughs> and yeah. I'm connected with the Largo Medical Center. I'm on their list, which is a big deal to get a kidney transplant. And uh, they tell me through some of Jim's research that there's a hundred thousand people in this country looking for a kidney. Really, only about seventeen thousand a year get one. Wow. And, now, uh, are you on dialysis every day? So now, starting in December, they said you are a candidate for home dialysis. So every night around 10 o'clock, I connect to this port uh -huh. and I'm on for nine hours, seven nights a week. Oof. Okay, so what I'm a dummy. What what, do you, what does that do for you? What, so what that does, there's there are a couple of bags of uh, liquid and over four cycles over the over the night goes into your peritoneum, which is this area, 
soaks up the contaminants that your kidney would typically take care of, puts it in a little tube, goes down the hall, dumps it in the toilet, fills it up again four times. Wow. Sounds easy. Most of the time it wakes you up. So, you know, haven't slept months since December, <laughs> but uh, literally. So uh, yeah. back us up a little bit. Uh, sure. Did you just start feeling sick one day or? Just, just tired, tired, tired. But I, I was going to Dr. Gulati, my nephrologist in Fort Myers, and he was telling me, you know, your numbers are getting worse as far as your kidney function. And then he said, we should look at dialysis. And then this happened. I mean, I'd been medicated for it from stage three to stage four. And then stage five is when it's crucial. Yeah. And uh, so I very fortunate because he also recommended me to the Largo Medical Center. And they said, like, this guy might be on the older edge, but he says he's in such good shape otherwise mm. that you got to look at him. And so I had to go before a board of six doctors for half a day. And then they voted on me. And really? Said yes. Yeah, so they, yeah. they, they, they don't have extra kidneys like they do computers. They only got so many to get rid of. They want to be sure the person's healthy enough that if they do it, it's good. It's you, you have a chance to last in another 10, so 15, the, 20 years. This new list, this Largo, right? This is new. Is this the new news that your wife was talking no, about? No, the okay. newest news happened yesterday. A place called Dove Transplant, which is for veterans all over the country. Of and which they, you? Which I am a veteran of the U.S. Army in 1966 to 1968. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, from there. We'll uh, take your word for it. Right. You don't have to show us your I uniform. I had to show them the DD-214 to get <laughs> okay, on. Okay, there you go. Which is your proof of service. So did you go to Vietnam? I did not go. I was stateside support service. But, gotcha. uh, you know. Still. Had, had I thank goodness had yeah. I had to go I would sure. have gone yeah not everybody can go <laughs> no or has uh, to go w well worded yeah <laughs> and um, what Dove does which we found out was very unique yesterday is they are getting trying to get for vets new kidneys but there anyone can be a donor and and the unique part is that they will assist the donor, especially if they don't have uh, the funds to fly, drive, stay in a hotel, be off work, have a babysitter. This right. is all stuff they just told me yesterday where uh, my insurance will cover yours, mine and theirs in the hospital. Right. But it but it doesn't cover the pre stuff if they need a right. colonoscopy or a mammogram or anything right. they want to be sure that not only the donor but the recipient is in good health uh, in any any transplant center right right right, so, right. Uh, so they support they provide funding right. for the donor for the, for donor. the stuff that is not covered right. by the insurance so the right. non-hospital right. stuff and, right and they also deal with the transplant center to make the right make it easier because if you if there was a match found from someone in Alaska. That's it. They do it all. Who's working all on a, a fishing boat and couldn't right. afford to maybe fly. I, although I, I, that's not disparaging to fishermen, but I mean, no, no. it's somebody that couldn't afford to do that, but had the will and the kidney to do it. Well, sure. Then this would swoop in and cover, defray well, those costs. Yeah. Uh, you know, a young person or 20s or 30s even yeah, that that, says, I can't afford to take off work. Right. I've got kids. I need a babysitter. They'll help with that. So, so that, Dave, when you're when you're sitting in front of these judges, like they're trying to determine whether your life is worth something, that's got to be it, crappy. It's a little like, mm, OK, yeah. <laughs> when they explain it to you, you kind of get it because, like I say, they don't have extra kidneys on the shelf. We're trying to sell as many as we can today. Right. We only have very few. We don't have any on the shelf. Yeah. We got to have either. The other thing is the list is for deceased donors, obvi obviously. And the thing is with a deceased donor, they call. They said it could be two o'clock in the morning on Thanksgiving. Right. And you got to get there. Yeah. We're three hours away from Largo. So there's no other way to like there's no closer place where they're. Well, no. Miami's got one. There's also Tampa. I, my dialysis center is in Cape Coral, but transplant centers and my nephrologist really recommended Largo. The Largo as being premier. And uh, so you said that you started to feel tired and that was just, how you. 
you know, th- was it old age? Do they, <laughs> right, yes. right. Do they say that it's, you were just it's fatigued. thank you. Do they say that it's caused by something or it's just a well, crapshoot? Life is a crapshoot. It can shoot. be sometimes hereditary, but basically uh, I had uh, diabetes and several diabetes medicines are very uh, harmful to kidneys. Oh, oh, so, so they screwed they, you up they with keep, the medicine. They keep sweaty, switching me around on that to uh-huh. make uh, a lesser effect on it. But this last fall, I had to have some kidney stones taken out, which oh. is also very hard on the kidney. Painful. And right after that, I went down to my filtration here above. I was down at four, Oof. four, which is means you're about done. Mm-hmm. And so they got me on dialysis where they switched the blood out. 30 to 40 times in four hours. Wow. Three Are you in a lot a of pain? Actually, this, the dialysis doesn't hurt and the hooking up and all of that stuff doesn't really hurt. Mostly fatigue. And it's like, I live two blocks from the beach. I haven't been there in a year because I just don't feel like I can really walk that. Wow. I can walk around here and stuff, but if I go down there, somebody's got to drag this whale across the sand. Oh, stop. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to ask back to your, you know, so you said you had diabetes. Was it juvenile? Did you get it later in life? Later in life. And okay. fortunately, because of diet, exercise, really watching the sugar, it's well controlled. Uh, those that know AMC, A1C, it's under six, which they think is marvelous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not really wouldn't be diabetic, right, but right, it's right. controlled by me and medicine. So, so a stupid question again from no. somebody that's not involved in the medical world. Like, are you waiting for somebody to die before you get a kidney? Well, let's, or I'm hoping not because live donors, see, a person can live with one kidney. Okay. And the, the, the other thing about live, two good things about a live donor. One is you can you can schedule it. Okay, let's do it next right. month on Tuesday and sit right. in three, four hours. And... A live kidney, the statistics show that you can have uh, five to eight years longer, and this is a statistic, than a donated one, just because it's we're taking it out of this person and into you, you know, not a, we're not dragging it around the country or keeping it on whatever. ice and all of you that. Know, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Evidently, it does make a, a difference statistically. And uh, so people that are alive can donate their oh, kidney. Oh, absolutely. Live. I talked to a young girl in her 20s yesterday that was just got out of the military, is in the reserve, and she gave, she donated a kidney to another vet, hmm. and she says, I, hey, I'm back to work. I'm doing good, yeah. and, and I'm And she following. feels fine. I mean, you can yeah, she, you can be 100% with one less kidney. Dr. Galati told me about a medical friend of his that got it. He's back doing surgery not long after. He felt good. So what's a match for you? Like if there's a live person right now, like well, wasting well, their time drinking get, alcohol well, outside. The, well, the, you don't want an alcoholic, right? You want a clean is, kidney. It's got to be blood type O. Yeah, know, okay, o blood positive type O. Negative. Because like my daughter offered, she's blood type A. A can't give to O. Right. <laughs> o Crazy. can give to A. But they, O is is the big pretty, one. Pretty, so pretty you that, that gets a big group but, but right so there. It's not just that. It's not then just they that. do tons of other Did you ask Farley if he's got an he's got some he's gonna have an extra he, kidney? He's a he's a little over sixty five. Yeah. Uh, so there's an age fact because he's got an eight, old kidney. Eighteen to sixty five. Oh really? Uh, for donors. Gotcha. For donors, yeah. Gotcha. And because they like them to be you know, younger. Yeah. Did, has he tried to sell you like you should run some radio ads and see if you can uh, get somebody He's out and paper to, right over to, there. To, to, to donate yep. a, a kidney? Yeah. So people out there should, uh, sh- I mean, if they want to donate a kidney, what do they do? They call 1-800-DONATE-A-KIDNEY? I mean, no, well, how do you do that? We, we also have a uh, site that my daughter worked on, on on Facebook, Dave Needs a Kidney, and it goes all over, of course, and then people share that. Yeah. And, you know, most of my friends are over 65. So Yeah. Well, know, how old are you? Uh, 76. 76. So, <laughs> I mean, you must have been, like, relieved when this board of this death oh, yeah, board decides that, that you're going to be okay to. Well, well, that's the thing. What? To, to be on dialysis. <laughs> I'm here. I can't yeah. go to Wisconsin this summer. I can't travel. I yeah. got you got to be here. Young, beautiful wife like to travel with me. We can't go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, how did you hook up with a young, beautiful wife like that? Yeah, I know, mean, you're not, you're not the prettiest person. Well, on the it was a friend that said, you know, do pity on this old guy. I see. You know, I see. So I'm just kidding. How she, long have you been married? 17 years. Nice. Yes. 17 nice. years. Were you married late? 
Well, again, no, no need to tell me a personal <laughs> business I know, unless you want to. My of wife course. was widowed, so I we see. married last. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How, so your daughter was the one that uh, we kind of I chatted with her about yes. the, the website and the whole thing. Right. And she's she's really rocking it for you, man. She's she pushing sure hard to we, find we, you a kidney. We can we say we were on TV last Friday. Where were you? Wink. Very nice. cool. Uh, they were on. Th- I was on three times Friday and at least two times on Saturday, and they came out to the house for an hour and a half. Wow, pr- approximately. Cool. Videoed me, and of course, they took it to the cutting room, and that was two and a half right, minutes. Right, yeah. right, right, right. You see, you know, that's why we like doing this show. You're going to get thirty minutes of this. If you're going to get a kidney, it's coming from this show, not well, from Wayne's little two minute. Uh, <laughs> that's nobody it. watches TV anymore. Yeah, that's probably. it. They're yeah. all on social media. Yeah, doing stuff. So, so if people wanted to donate, they would contact. The, your website or okay or dove transplant okay is a real easy one because yeah. i just got up with them yesterday they tell me they will deal directly with the with the transplant center and uh, the, then it makes the transition easier you can also go to the website on facebook either way it'll give you the phone number and email for largo either way works uh, i just i stress the, the veterans one because there are right. several veterans that need a kidney besides right, me right. and uh it, i was surprised helpful. by the numbers that you threw out there about how right. many people need a kidney and well, how many are out there but there are probably i'm guessing more people that could donate if they knew you know the, that there's such a need for, for i had for no being, idea for being live yeah being yeah. a live donor so. like do you think people are just afraid well i mean i need two or right. i mean the people because, probably don't know they could because operate i'll with live one. the rest of my life with one they don't take the two yeah. out in the back. They cut you in the front and they right. add one right in the stomach. Right. What's your quality of life like? Well, not as good because I really am kind of tied to not traveling or going. I mean, typically up until last summer, my brother, who also lives near me, uh, half of the year, other half in Wisconsin, we would walk four to five miles on beautiful Fort Myers Beach and yeah. come back and have breakfast. Mm-hmm. I haven't been on the beach sand this is the closest i've been to the water in, yeah. in a year because yeah. i just i can walk like i said i can walk over to santini right. or i can walk a little bit but you, you you know you just get a little off balance and you're just tired you know i'm in right. sleeping right i sit in the chair and read and sleep well i feel like i got grandkids in california right. in minnesota wisconsin ohio north florida can't go see them because if i go out of the state i'm off the transplant list Oh, you boy. know, because I can't get there in right short number of hours. I mean, I'm back on. But what if they call me right. when I'm in what if in that LA moment, with right, my grandson? Right, right. One of the things you're I think your daughter said or maybe it was Jim said to me that you're really uh, concerned about a, uh, if a hurricane comes through and you oh, get the call. Too. Thank you for bringing it up, because uh, let's say uh, he said thank you for he didn't say it was a good question. Oh, well. All right. You get an attaboy for that. There right? you, you go. He gets an attaboy. Zero bells for you today. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. So you think I'm on that machine for nine hours a night. The power goes out like it did when we, the last hurricane. Yeah. I am some tropical storms, but the hurricane was worse, of course. Uh, there's a battery in it, but it isn't going to run you for days. It'll run, you know, for a 30 minute power outage. And I have to be on it for nine hours. So, and there's no electricity. So what do, what do you do? The machine is something that we can carry out. But every day I have 30 pounds of liquid I use. Right. So let's load 10 days worth. That's 300 pounds in your car. Mm-hmm. That's just 10 days <laughs> to go somewhere. You're not going to do it. No. I mean, well, I mean, if there was a hurricane, sure. you have to but do I mean, it. Right. You wouldn't right, do it for right. a trip. You, no, you know, if they no, said, no, hey, no, your no. power's going to be out. You no. got to get the heck off the island. I if mean, you can. Ooh, uh, or a the other way is to do a manual like the like the post where you get a drip bag when you're in yeah. the hospital, they put smaller bags up and you have to do that all day long. Cause yeah, it's I was only, gonna say, yeah, that'd so take it takes forever. your whole day. Yeah. That's, and, and it's all done manually. Obviously you wouldn't do it overnight. But, right. Uh, so would not be ideal. Let's put it that way. So just to be, uh, just to repeat it, uh, sure. where can people find more information about how they can help you? If they have, you have to have a type O blood. To, to, that's in the order first, to give you a kidney. That, that's the first thing. They do have, and Dove stressed this, they do have an exchange program. Yes, Let's say talk you are, about that. You yeah, are yeah, an yeah. Ex, you are want to give a kidney, possibly to me. And uh, we check it out, and you're healthy, but your blood type's not right. And this other guy in a, or girl in another state says, I got a donor that matches you. 
I, you got one that matches me and they do an exchange right. and they do it. You don't do that part of it. Dub right. does that and said, Hey, we got somebody that will mm. match you, your donor. So I, I realize that's not for everybody, but if somebody that doesn't even right. know me wants to do a kidney, they may, they feel may have good somebody, saying, right. Right. And, they or feel, they may have somebody in their family right. that needs and they aren't a, a kidney or a liver or whatever. Right. And, and so, cause sure. they can do these like five way. Yeah. I mean, they can really go, Let me get these out of your way, you sir. know, uh, many different donations. There you go. Where you can. That, that's right. Absolutely. So the, the thing that's silly is I don't even know what my blood type is. Do you think most people even know what you don't blood type? know? I have no clue what my no. blood type is. My, my daughter. I know I've got really uh, healthy blood and cool blood and smooth blood. I don't blood, think I know what yours is. What is your blood? I'm O. I'm you o. have type O. Well, you got an I'm extra o. kidney. Let's get it. I know. I get do on the have table, an extra woman. kidney. What's going on here? <laughs> Give that well, I just up. read about Look, it. Come on. So it's, yeah. Why well, you got to be so selfish? It's I not like you need two freaking kidneys. I think. I think, you're, I think you're O too. Because I think. I'm O. Yeah, my blood. I don't know. My <laughs> kidney. I don't out. know. They should yeah. be able to do like well, uh, they, a simple blood the, test where you figure out what your blood, blood is. Test, Here comes his wife now. She's yeah. getting ready to pull besides your damn kidney right out of your body. You have to also <laughs> do. Um, there you go. Dave needs a kidney. Is on Dave Facebook. Dave needs a kidney. You all should go there if you're watching. Have now. one you can share. Yeah. Or spare. If I well, have one that we can spare. That's right. So let's say somebody lends it to you while you're still operating, uh, standing upright. And I get it back right before you, uh, you know, tip over. Yeah. Uh, What's the deal on it? We could look at the fine I mean, print what is, on that. This, is, a, about that this is not a gives me back situation. No, yeah, thing. Yeah, what they did with do it? to reassure people, let's say somebody younger needs one in 20 years. Yeah. And they only have one. They're at the top of the list. Oh. I see. You don't have to go through this long business. If you've donated and all of a sudden years later, you, you run into an one. issue. You know, if you're in your 30s and we all, all most of us were right. really healthy. Right, 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 right. And you get in your 60s and your, your kidney's bad and you said, crap, I gave my other one away. You're on the top of yeah. the list. They assured me in writing that. I didn't okay, know that. Well, that's good to get, yeah. that's good well, to get information out. You know, yeah. Reassure people that. Not only can well, they go on for their life, but they're right. doing good for other folks, right. too. I'm sure so. that that is a concern for people like any of us. Right. You only have two. If I give one away now. Right. right. So that's good. Well, I would have asked the same question if yeah. somebody said, would you donate mine? I would say, mm, yeah, what if something happens? Yeah. What if, you know, we what all if? play what if. So, but it's not just the O type. And then they do lots of other. Right. It's right. So O for me. Right. Oh, they do it for everything. Yeah, yeah. Is but o they have the to make the most popular blood. Yes. That's what they tell yes. me. Okay. Yeah. Sir, yeah. what is your blood type, ma'am? What is uh, your uh, stop? What is? Do you know what your blood type is? I mean, no. They see people have no idea what their blood no, type no. is. My, my daughter didn't know. Uh, I don't know how. I guess I've donated know. blood, I knew because so I know. That little dog tag that I wore in the military right, said, right. "There oh, you go." See, because when they pick you up in the rice paddy, they want to know what you got. Yeah. You know, if you can't ask. Well, Dave, uh, whatever we can do to help, man, we'll have Thank you, you back much. and keep Thank keep it much. out there. We'll keep the keep, well, keep the word yeah, out there. And even for a short one, if I came back with a victory, I'd oh, like yeah. to share it with you guys yeah. and we can say, hey, That'd Beach be Talk great. Radio was well, we'll the do a, we'll Can do you a imagine if we got credit? There you go. Then we can run up and down here That's because right. I'll be in good shape. Nice. Right? All right, Dave. Well, we'll stay in touch. And thank you so much for coming on. Thanks and for and having uh, me Thank you to Jim. Thank you. for Dave. Hey, you guys need it. If you had check your blood type, you got an extra kidney. She's got O over there. You should go uh, smooch I around think the you table. Have o too. All right, we'll look it up. There, he wants to give oh. you a fist bump. Thank, Thank you, you guys. So Thank much. you. Thank Good you, Jim, luck. so much. I appreciate Good it. Good luck. Very nice. All right, dear. Well, you have to finally read the ad that you owe these people for because you I, have not I know. done your no, no, duty. No, no. You have I not read done it a bunch of times last week. I'm but I'm really so thrilled. I feel Read like it. I kind of got caught up. Read it so, and you can go talk to everybody. Fort Myers Tiki Tour 